All right, man. So look, we're back at again with another video. And dog, this video right here has to be the most disgusting video I've ever seen on the internet. All right. So look, uh, I'm about to go ahead and react to this. Okay. Uh, I actually seen like part of the video, so I know what's like about to happen in the video. But I want to give you guys a thoughts on opinions. Okay. So I want y'all to tell me y'all thoughts and opinions about the situation and how y'all feel about the situation. Was it the right thing to do? Was it the wrong thing to do? Y'all let me know. Without further ado, man, hit the like button, subscribe to our post notifications, follow your boy on IG. What is you doing? Follow your boy on IG. Without further ado, let's get it. Let's go. So look. Basically, I sent him the link. So we get, ended up getting a Zoom meeting. And I guess like when you... Okay, right off the rip. Let me tell you. Okay, let me tell you a little backstory. Okay, because I just started the video right off the rip. Okay, but basically he, he got this Patreon or whatever. He charged $500. $500. Something like... Like, I, I don't know who pays $500 to talk to another human being. I, I just can't see myself doing it. Okay, I, if, hey, if you do therapy and you do counseling, hey, that's good for you. But I, me personally, I just can't see myself talk like talking to another human being that probably haven't even been through exactly what I've been through, and to give me advice on my life. Five hundred dollars is crazy. Okay, so he charged five hundred dollars on his Patreon to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation, and I basically, I guess he basically helped people with their problems, aka keyword problems. Okay, <laughs> well he got problems with his dang self, but anyways. Dude, the, fir the first thing I noticed, he told me he was 16 years old, but he looked at way older. He was 16 years old, nigga was smoking a cigarette, and he was with another guy, and it's his birthday. And I'm re I could read energy, so I'm asking him, dude, what's wrong with you? Like, I'm asking him, what's bothering you and stuff, you know? Because I'm, I'm we, obviously we kicking it, and he asking me these questions. He talking about how much he love my YouTube channel, how much he been watching my spiritual vids, how much I changed his life, and this and that. Me, I'm reading his energy. It's his birthday. The nigga look depressed. And you 16 years old smoking a cigarette. Something not adding up. What the fuck have you been through in life? What do, what, what do you mean? I mean, 16 year old smoking a cigarette. Okay, it's not adding up. Okay, what have you been through in life? But honestly, I'm not gonna lie. It's like, I feel like 90% of teens nowadays are are stressed okay stressed depressed mother like i mean college coming up like th these kids are depressed all right they they definitely not finding out the calling that god has for them like it's just they're living they just basically living all right they basically living okay that that's probably why he's stressed all right he just basically living you know what i'm saying and then high school on top of that this stressful instance i was so happy when i graduated i was so happy why do you think i'm not in college boy high school was stressful in this dang self you got to test pop quiz every single week. I got tired of it. Okay. And I'm pretty sure that's why he's smoking the square right now. Right. So as we got to talking, I told him like, dude, we can only be on here for about, you know, 20, 30 minutes. I told him I got a limit. 20, 30 minutes for $500. And I told him I'm still going to shout your, your, uh, give you a birthday shout out. But I, I, I told him straight up that if it's, is it, if it's anything you want to get off your chest or me to help you with, tell me right now, because once I'm gone, I'm gone. You get what I mean? Dude straight up put his pride to the side and he kind of got a little emotional. And th this coming from a young 16 year old who was, he had this like tough image on, he was smoking a cigarette, his nigga was right there. He kind of got a little emotional. Dude told me he been suicidal. This is no joke. He told me he been suicidal for the past four years, right? Pure Elden Ring. It is a full Elden Ring wiki that launches when you <sighs> He told me he'd been suicidal for the past four years. And one of the things I told him when he told me that, I told him you don't have to feel like embarrassed or something to tell me this because I help people with this shit on a regular basis. Emails, etc. That's my whole point of making a Patreon is to help you. I'm, and I told him like I could tell something is bothering you. And he did not, bro, it took me like 10 minutes for this nigga to literally open up and tell me what, why he was suicidal. So I want y'all to hear this real quick. I'm about to get straight to the core of what he told me. He said when he was in the seventh grade, he's been suicidal since the seventh, eighth grade. He is now 16 years old. He said he dropped out of middle school. When he was in the seventh grade, he ended up having a situation with a couple guys at his school. Now, it turns out his mom has an OnlyFans. His mom had him when she was 15 years old. 15 years later, I guess she was like, what, 20-something, 29, 30? She made an OnlyFans. He was in the seventh grade, right? So 
I want y'all to do the age difference. Right now, he's 16. I think his mama probably like 31, 32. No lie. I don't really know, but you can do the math yourself. He said when he was in the seventh grade, his mom made an OnlyFans. Now, y'all got to understand, they living in a social media age. Now, he said he already suffered from, like, porn stuff. Like, he been watching porn since he was little, etc. And he also said his mom and his dad split up for some reason, but he didn't really know till now. He basically said he found out that his mom was, like, doing that type shit by him watching, watching porn and coming across his mom. He said this is how he found out. Now, this shit is weird. He even told me he built some type of fetish with just checking on his mom's content. Yeah. What? I ain't get to that part of the video. Ooh. Hold on now. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Pause, pause, pause. You telling me you had a fetish from watching your mama get clapped in the cheek? Ugh. Oh, this generation is so messed up. I'm sorry, bro. If my mother ever did something like that, I would not have no fetish to keep checking back on it and say, whoa, let me see this. That is disgusting. That is not only disgusting, but that is that is literally disturbing. Okay? That is honestly disturbing. You had a fetish to keep checking back on your mother after you found out that she's getting dolled in a cheek. Okay. What she's doing. It's more. It's more. I I, I just know it's more, okay? I didn't get to that part of the video, but it's more. Now, remember, I got to stomach all this in. I'm keeping my composure. I'm like, dude, like, damn. So, he basically told me in the seventh grade, it's these two guys that he never really got along with, but they was in the same class. He said one of the guys ended up finding out about his mom, having, like, OnlyFans and being, like, a porn star. He said he found out because his mom and his dad split up, so his mom still used to take him to school, when he used to go into situations, sometimes she used to have to go in there, like, to get him and all type of shit. He said he was basically never wanted to really be in position to show his mom off to nobody because he was embarrassed by the shit she do online. So he said this one particular time she ended up bringing him to school and she had to check him into school. Now, let me now let, let me say this. A lot of y'all probably wondering why am I reacting to this? You know, what what's so bad about it? The reason why the video is so sick is not only, okay, it's not the fact that his mom is a porn star. It's not the fact. It's none of that, okay? The reason why this video is so sick is simply because this guy by the name of Solomonati came to the internet and told someone else's story. But, hold on, pause, okay? I understand, okay, because first of all, the guy paid $500. That's crazy. $500 for a shout out? Boy, you stupid, okay? Honestly, you're stupid. You need help. No wonder why. You need to go back to middle school because that's one of the dumbest things you could ever do. Pay $500 for a private session. A private session, okay? This is for me and you to be talking. Not for you and what, however many other subscribers he has to be talking. Okay? That's why I'm saying this video is sick because truth be told, bro, if somebody tell you something, you don't go out and no. Granted, he didn't give out the person's name. Okay, but it's just a matter of privacy and respect. That guy know that you're talking about him. You know what I'm saying? And let the dude that he didn't ha that he had like a little beef with or whatever find out about this video. Then that guy know that you're talking about that person. So now you feel me? Not just going to start a whole bunch of chaos. We don't know who you're talking about. But at the end of the day, this is somebody personal business. You feel me? This is somebody personal business. You don't go on the internet spreading somebody personal business. If somebody pay five hundred dollars for you to have a private session, that is between a that's between you and that person, not between me, you, and a whole bunch of million other people. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm saying the video is so sick. Because how do you, as you as a, as you being a spiritual guy and being a grown man, you shouldn't come to the internet spreading somebody business. Simple as that. I don't care if you didn't drop the name or not. You just shouldn't be spreading somebody business. These spiritual people be so spiritual, but literally they lack so much. <laughs> they lack so much, but they be so spiritual, so woke, but they lack so much. But we go finish. Okay, we go finish. I don't know. I don't know what else to. Uh, I don't know what else to actually go throughout this video. Okay, because I didn't really watch the full thing. I watched certain parts, and I was like, okay, I got to talk about this. And he said a few guys seen her. One of the particular guys was the dude that he didn't like. So he said one of these particular days, that's how he found out who his mom was, the guy. He said one of these particular days in class, 
he ended up getting into it with the guy. They ended up getting into it because he said they used to basically massacre him and like dish. When he said, when he used the word massacre, I said, that's tough. He said they used to massacre and hold that shit against him. They used to always make jokes about it. They used to play her audio out loud of her moaning. Like some kitty childish shit. And he said he used to, at first he used to stomach all this shit in. But he said this one particular day he snapped. Right? Now remember, only two boys knew. Nobody else knew. So this is what happened. He said one day they was teasing him. They was playing like the audio or like clips of his mom and shit. And he said they used to do this on a regular, not every day, but he said most of the time when they used to like get into it, tell jokes, they used to do this. So basically, he said this one particular time he ended up snapping and he ended up beating the boy up. Like this is seventh grade. He said he ended up beating the boy up and everybody knew about it. But the thing is, he ended up beating the guy up pretty bad. So the whole school ended up knowing why. He said they ended up finding out why he beat the boy up. So by him beating the boy up, the whole school knew his mama was a fucking bot. That's why he beat the boy up, because the boy was showing off porn shit. Now the whole school found out. Right? Now, so listen, this is where it gets worse for this nigga. The whole school ended up finding out that his mama a hoe. Right? He still go to the school and he ended up getting sick. This is Blankos, the free-to-play multiplayer game where you can unlock, earn, and sell NFTs. Suspended. Guess who had to bring him back up to the school? Guess who had to bring him back up to the school to check him in? His mama. After, after his suspension, his dad, he said his dad left his mom because his mom was on that thought shit. He said, now he know. So listen. I'm going to say this. Um, I'm going to actually talk about the story time. The story time that he's doing. All right. Now, me personally, uh, I find it very disrespectful for any mother, any woman to just bluntly show off her body. I believe that your body is to be kept for your husband and your wife. I believe that that's what your body is to be kept for. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what your body should be used for is to, you know, to, uh, how should I put this? Just, I'm going to just say it's used, it's supposed to be used in a marriage, in a marriage container. All right? Not just bluntly out here having sex, especially when you got a child. You feel me? Because, come on, bro. Every kid done, you know, watched it. You feel me? Before, every kid done been exposed to that before. You feel me? Where they go, they end up going on that site. And they end, they, they could eat up saying like they mama. And that, that would hurt. But it went, it shouldn't be uh carried away to the point where you want to commit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say the word. But when you want to commit, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't be escalated to that point. You feel me? Because I'll tell you like this. I understand that bullying happens. Bullying do this. Bullying do that. But honestly, truth be told, I was I grew up as words. Sticking stones may break my bones, but words should never hurt me. That's why I grew up learning. You feel me? And that, that's why I go by. I feel like no words can ever hurt me. When I read comments, nobody words can ever make me feel less of a person. And that's what people should start to realize is that no words can ever make you feel less of a person. Remember what God thinks about you. Don't don't care about what other people think about you. Remember what God think about you. You feel me? That's just how I'm gonna look at the situation. But other than that, uh, I'm not even gonna finish the whole entire like video simply because I wanted to just like get, I wanted to let y'all like figure out like what y'all think about the situation. Do y'all think it was right for this man to post? You know what I'm saying? A video and monetize the video, make a little chunk, make a little you know what I'm saying, make a little change off the video. And tell somebody's story on the internet. You feel me? Something that was private, okay? Something that was worth five hundred dollars. Something that I would never do in my life. But something that was worth five hundred dollars, unless it's marriage counseling. That's probably the only thing. But if it's personal, nah. But anyways, like I said, five hundred dollars for a private session, and he goes out on the internet and tells this guy business to the whole entire world. Y'all think y'all think that's cool? Like I, I really just want to know. Do y'all think that's cool? Do y'all think it was worth? Do y'all think hey, it's not his fault? It's the guy fault for even paying five hundred dollars? Like what do y'all think about the situation, man? And what did you get five hundred dollars for at sixteen? Like did you save up for this moment? <laughs> Cause boy, for sixteen, I didn't even have five hundred to my name. I probably had like a hundred. It's crazy. Anyways, man, hit the like button, subscribe to no post notifications, bro. It's been your boy Depan. I love each and every one of y'all, bro. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.